Hi, I want to show you a project I've been working on. It's a homemade oscilloscope using an Adafruit Feather M0 and one of their three and a half inch touchscreen LCDs. Case was found around the house. I added a connector for the scope input and there is an opening on the side allowing me access to program the device. I'm powering it with three AA cells, but if I used rechargeable batteries, that same port would allow battery recharge. Internal to the case is a reed switch. So that opening the case turns the unit on. Startup takes a while, but now that it's going, I'm going to uh, connect the scope probe to the 1 Hz sine wave internal test signal. When I touch the screen I enter menu mode. Sometimes I have to work a little to get its attention, especially at higher sweep speeds. The menu allows me to set a trigger mode, change the sweep rate, set a trigger level, and choose between two inputs representing two different input ranges. The inputs we're just uh, watching had a range of 0 to 5 volts. The other input has a range of plus or minus 15 volts. I'm operating the built-in analog to digital converters at a rate of 500,000 samples per second. So I hope to be able to see through the highest audio frequencies and beyond. Inside the case there's a rat's nest of wires making the interconnection between the processor, the power switch, the display, and a solderless breadboard holding, two input anal holding the two input analog circuitry as well as an onboard negative 3 volt supply. I still have two problems I'm trying to solve. One, I'm trying to clean up the analog board to make the inputs less noisy. And two, since I'm not drawing a line between adjacent points, the display can get pretty difficult to see when looking at signals with high sweep rates, such as a square wave. I hope you enjoy this and hope it gives you some ideas for a project of your own.